No, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, I think it's just, uh, you know, it's exciting, it's always exciting, and, and, you know, I think that the longer you're coaching, the more excited you are for this day to come, because that means you've got to do a lot less administrative stuff, and a lot less answering emails, and phone calls, and everything else, and concentrate on hockey, which is the thing that you get into coaching for, so, you know, the coaching staff, we're so excited like, just to get back working with our players, and, and getting on the ice on a day-to-day -day basis to, going to begin the season. We had so much to cover. And, uh, you know, there was so much expectations on our hockey team and knowing that, uh, you know, I really, I've always believed this, you got to kind of step back before you step forward. We, you know, I, I have made the mistake as a coach trying to get out of the gate early and sacrifice some of those fundamentals that you need to have in place. And it just doesn't work that way. You, you, you've got to set the, the, the foundation for the year and then build upon that because you can never go back to this time of year. So. You know, we're excited. We're excited to get to work. And, uh, uh, no one's going to be a, a really, really, you know, it, it always is a tough road. And uh, I think the biggest thing is that all the expectation is to manage those expectations and keep the forefront that how hard of a journey it's always going to be. There are all a lot of expectations. You've got a lot of guys who've got a lot of experience in the back. That's got to help with those expectations. And they know what to expect from, you know, expectations and this place and everything. So they, they, there's not a lot of uh, having to teach a lot of guys. There. No, I, I think that uh, you know it's a familiar place for us to be, and, and you, you never you take you never take it for granted. Uh, but you know, one of the things that makes makes this place special is that you know that's what our alumni and, and uh, our alumni expect is you know they're expecting us to have success and uh, the media surrounding the area and and, and uh, our fans. And, but most importantly, I think it's that's what our players expect. I mean, it's one of the reasons they came to Cornell is to understand that there's pressure to play here, there's pressure to win here. Uh, but that was part of the reasons they chose to come to Cornell in the first place. And, and uh, But it, it's, it is about managing that, those expectations of, of uh, getting to work. And we've had a tremendous fall uh, conditioning. Coach Holly is, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I really re rely on him an awful lot. And, and he's fully convinced this is one of the best uh, condition groups we've had and one of the best chemistry that we've had with our groups as far as kind of their approach to the year and it's good to hear. Last year on Media Day we talked a lot about uh, a plethora of young guys on the crew. Of course they're all a year older. How much more of an impact can they make uh, this time around? Well I think that, that goes for everybody. I mean you're sitting here last year you're, you're the same thing. You, I think I answered the question the same way in the sense that you know, there's a lot of youth and the freshmen but it was, I've always believed it's the, the improvement within the team, you know, from the guys returning. And, and you saw that in a guy like Dustin Mowry last year who emerged as a, as a great player. And, and you see it with Andy Isles and his improvement uh, as a goaltender. And, um, you know, you looked at, you know, at different guys within the team, how much better they got. And you know, that's our same expectations for these guys. They're a little older, uh, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. And, and uh, when you add that in with the freshman group, you know, that's what gives you, you know, a lot of room for excitement. But, uh, you know, those guys, as I said, it's, it's, it's fun to watch the young guys come back and be weighing 10 pounds heavier and, and being able to have that confidence that they can do things that they couldn't do the year before. Mike, would you prefer to be ranked 15th and prove you deserve to be ranked higher, or would you prefer to be ranked 5th or 6th and prove you deserve to be where you are? Well, I think that uh, I, I think it doesn't make a difference where you are, uh, and, and, I, and I believe that. You know, as a coach, I think you talk about the rankings, about you know, to manage it, that they're just they're just one tool to find out how good you are as a hockey team because, you know, these guys experienced that last year. That you, know, you win a couple of good games and you think they're good games, you drop a place in the rankings. And, and then you, you you lose a game and you win a game and it's a, there was a tough weekend and uh, uh, you didn't think you played very well and you move up. So I, I think this is a starting point. I think it's a respect for our program, uh, a respect for our players within our team. But again, there's enough experience with our guys to understand that you know we can't control it. That, you know, uh, not to worry about it. That it's uh, at this time of year, it, it starts that long process of making sure that we're ranked at the end of the year and uh, and try to make sure we're ranked as high as we could possibly be. And uh, I mean, look, last week we moved up to fifth of the polls. And we were in captain's practice. You know, and it's just a it's a matter of reflection upon you know I think the people's respect and their predictions of where we're going to be. You start off the season, the regular season, with Colorado College, obviously a very good program. Does that put a little more pressure on you the next couple of weeks to, to get right into the thick of being ready? Well, I, I think it puts a, you know, you, you look at Colorado College, they'll come in and they'll have six, seven games. Like that, so, uh, yeah, it, it, that makes it really, really difficult. So just hold on for one second.